Hi, Libra. Okay, so I am in Miami, so that's why you're getting a little different scene this time. Um, I couldn't sleep, so I made some tea, and you're getting um, 2 a.m. tarot readings. So let's see what this week looks like for you. These are just general readings for Libra, sun, moon, and rising. For Libra. Okay, Libra. Okay. We're starting with walking away from a situation. Let's see what that looks like. I guess for some of you, it's actually walking out of a romantic situation. Um, for others of you, it could be family. I think that's very specific for a few Libras out there, but I almost feel like somebody else walking away from their children or somebody walked out on their children. Um, maybe, you know, you're dealing with somebody walking out on your children, something like that, okay? But for many of you, this, was a, a, this is a, a love connection. I also feel like something was said, almost like an explosive sort of argument. All right, continue for Libra. Moving on, there's some bitterness there. Heavy emotions here. Why is death in the reverse? Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Why is death in the reverse for Libra? Okay, so there's just no chance of reconciliation, period. Like, no, there's never going to be a change. There's not going to be a chance. It's just done and over with. It's literally buried, okay? Libra, sun, moon, and rising. This has you all caught up in your head, Libra. I feel like you're trying to put the focus somewhere else, like whether that's on your money, projects, hobbies, or whatever. You're like really trying to like throw yourself into something, um, but it's weighing heavily on you. Somebody's going to get some sort of channeled message here. I can see it. I don't know if it's like... I'm seeing the number 12, so I'm going to say it's going to be at like midnight or noon or something like that. Whoa, Libra. Somebody's going to be invited out by, could be an earth sign, doesn't have to be, but it is somebody who's concerned about you. This person also, in the in the past, I'm going to tell you, Libra, you, you guys may have even had some beef together, like, but this person still cares about you. They're still emotionally available, okay? Libra, sun, moon, and rising. It's actually going to be really good for you. I see you kind of getting out of your funk when you, when you have this, like, I don't know if it's you go out for coffee, dinner, long phone conversation, you know, something like that. Um, why is the emperor here though for Libra why is the emperor here I'm seeing something really weird like cookie cutters or some, I don't know I don't know Libra you could be dealing with an Aries as well but it, I, don't, I don't think that's actually the case um it, the, I'm going to have to clarify this again. I don't get it. I don't get it. What is this for Libra? Okay. So in order to better yourself, in order to take better care of yourself, you may need to move. You may need to, um, you know, I don't think it's change jobs, but you need to go through some sort of change and you're, and you are just digging your heels in the ground. You know, you're not willing to do what you need to do. There's like a stagnancy around that as well. Libra, sun, moon, and rising. Why is justice here for Libra? Okay, Libra, you somebody owes you money. Okay, whoever owes you money, you will be getting that back. Um, this could be whether it's in a court situation, whether it's somebody just actually physically owes you money, um, whether you're 
you know, bank owes you money, an investment owes you money, you will be getting that back. Continue. What else for Libra? <sighs> okay, can you clarify why the Hierophant's in the reverse? So whatever this situation is, this whole romantic situation, if you if you were wondering what was going on, was the person like there? There was clearly a third party here, okay? But they were also not just a third party; they were also lying about a lot of other things. They were deceiving you in multiple ways. Um, this person was not ready for like a higher commitment. You know, even if you guys were married, they weren't. They were not. They were not focused on you, okay? Um, but if you were wondering. If it's been on your mind, yes, you're right. Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What do you want them to know? Water sign. Why is a water sign here for Libra? You have a water sign here that doesn't want to walk away, but you guys are no longer speaking. Some sort of They're afraid to talk to you. They're afraid to move on. They're afraid to um, say the wrong things. They're afraid to not say the right thing. It, like, it, it's just a, it looks like an emotional mess over here. They might be heavily drinking. Um, I don't really see them doing anything about it. I just kind of see them moving on. Almost like they give up. Continue what else. Somebody's going through some sort of depression and anxiety. Do I think it'll come to an end soon? It's going to be a little bit. It's going to be a little bit. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Libra? Okay. Okay. So as much as you're sitting here trying to like heal from something or deal with um, uh, your day-to-day -day life without having this weighing you down, uh, there's still times where even when you are doing your best, you know, having a really good day, you're still going to fall back a little bit. And that's okay. That's totally okay. Everybody does that. It's normal. It's unfortunate though. I am going to say there is somebody in your life, I don't think it's you, but it could be, um, that is going to get diagnosed with something as well, okay? Something they've been avoiding getting checked. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Fresh start. What is this fresh start for Libra? Why am I seeing the Targaryens from Game of Thrones? Now? This is weird. Um, what is this fresh start about? You def I really think that you need to move, I think, or if, or if you've been considering it. I'm not telling you to move if you're happy where you are. If you're happy where you are, then you're probably going to work on your home. But for the majority of you, I see you guys needing to actually make a move. Something you've been hesitating doing for, like, multiple reasons, and that's, you know, going to be different person to person. But um, it needs to happen. You need that fresh start. You need that separation as well. Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Finding some sort of balance in the future. That hope you've been holding on to, you finally let go of. Making a decision. The number two is relevant to you as well. This is going to be a work decision. Um, something to do with your income. Could be a side job or it could be taking on a different role at work. 
I think it would be good for you. I see people kind of working under you, so I feel like you're going to be in some sort of leadership role for Libra. Healing from a broken heart. <clears throat> For many of you, especially those in same-sex relationships, I see somebody coming forward in the future for you, okay? Um, I'm going to have to say earth sign, but take it as it resonates, okay? I'm seeing light hair as well. Somebody has like gray streaks or gray roots or something. What is this argument that you're going to have to make a decision about? There's some sort of argument here. What is that about? Could be with a child or somebody younger than you. You will be having some sort of argument. Um, with that, you're going to have to make a decision. What's this decision about for Libra? Could be a Virgo, not necessarily. I don't get this. Explain, please clarify. You're you're spending way too much time with this decision, by the way. You're you're self-isolating over this decision, so it must be something pretty big. Why is the tower here? So this child or this younger person, again, doesn't have to be a child, you might not even know any children. Um, this younger person feels like they don't have a lot of options. They feel like they're in crisis. They feel like, um, the, almost like they have no abilities to move on or do something. I see you guys will have some sort of argument about it and you know, hopefully you'll bring, you'll, you'll be able to um, reassure them. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, you're in the upright. You're in the upright. You may have to argue with more than one person about this as well. I'm also getting... You have a water sign in your energy. You guys are both um, in some sort of disagreement with one other person um, or a few other people, but definitely one. Um, <clears throat> I see the two of you coming out on top with that one, okay? Like taking the person down, but not in like a vicious way, like in a mature way, you guys handle it and kind of like end that, that ongoing feud. Three more cards for Libra. I see some sort of canceled plans here you had with like a loved one. Um, I hate to say it, I almost feel like an argument may have caused you guys to like not do this trip or um, go visit each other or something of that nature. Yeah. And, and, and it's unnecessary because you two guys actually still care about each other a lot. I can't end it there, that sucks. Okay, so for those of you that are involved right now um, and have been for a while, this looks like an ongoing thing. You will find out about a third party and your relationship is probably going to come to an end. Um, <clears throat> for those of you that are going to be getting involved in the future with somebody, I think that past trauma is going to kind of ruin the relationship for you. Okay, if it, I feel like there a lot more healing needs to be done here. Um, but if you did have plans to go away with a loved one, especially a romantic partner, I don't see that happening for you, Libra, okay? I feel like you guys are gonna split before it happens. Anything else for Libra? Spending time with a water sign, once again. 
Um, I don't know if this is like a physical offering or if it's a verbal offering they make to you when you're when you're feeling low and they want to like kind of like you know embrace you. This could be a family member, could be a friend, could be like an ex that you stayed friends with, anything like that. But they kind of want to like you know reassure you that everything's going to be okay and. Um, and I think it's okay to end it there, Libra. That doesn't seem so bad. Oh, Libra, wait, maybe not. Looks like you will be having some sort of sexual situation in the future. What does that look like? Especially the Libra men, because this is very phallic. Could be with that water sign. Heavy on the Pisces and it's a wish fulfillment. So if you, yikes, oh wow, okay. Um, so if you've had your eye on a Pisces for a while, well, congratulations.